You are holy and blameless before the Lord because of who you are in the Spirit. That is good news, folks. But unless you believe it, it's not going to do you any good. You have to believe this stuff. You have to say, yes, I hear it, I understand it, and I'm just going to go ahead and believe it. Like, what have you got to lose? Hello and good morning. I want to welcome you to Arrested and Free with the Sheriff's Daughter Program. My name is Julianne Harris and I have been arrested by God's goodness, His grace, His love, and His mercy. And I've been set free from fear, pain, anxiety, discontentment, and all the negative things that can happen to us in life, I've been set free from. And a special shout out to my dad in Northeastern Montana, who is a sheriff there. So yes, I am a sheriff's daughter. So that's the title of my program and a little explanation behind it. And today is October the 17th in the year of our Lord, 2021. And a special shout out to my nephew, who is actually the um, editor and video guy of this program. It's his birthday today, and it's his 21st birthday, praise God. So it's awesome. Happy birthday, Zachary. You are a blessing. And so I just wanted this to go down. He's not going to edit it out, uh, but I want this to go down in all of history. Um, that you are a blessing and I love you dearly and so I am thankful for the day that you were born and that you are in my life as you are today so happy birthday Zach and so anyways let me get into my teaching so I have been doing this face-off series now for weeks upon weeks actually it's turned into months and um, it's amazing and you guys I woke up this morning with a um, with so much to share with you, I'm like, where do I start, Lord? Because it's it's like he is just expounding in my heart all these truths that I've been sharing with you. Uh, he's it, It's like an explosion on the inside of me of this face-off situation. And right now, we are in the off part of face-off. So face-off is F-A-C-E-O-F-F. -F. And um, we are in the off part and so face, let me just recap real quick. I have 20 some weeks that you can go back and see uh, and hear uh, divine revelation and encouragement in whatever you may be going through today. So face, F-A-C-E, F, focus on Jesus. When we are facing off with something, when something's coming at us, our number one go-to should be F, which is focus on Jesus. We focus on what he did on the cross and what he paid for and that he already uh, paid for your sin and made you righteous praise God and now we're going to enter into judgment which is the off part um, so focus on Jesus a is accept your true identity your true identity is now who you are in Christ Jesus it's not your job it's not your mistakes it's not your um, your maybe your good works that you've done for the Lord no you're you accept your true identity which is righteous which is holy which is blameless before the Lord that is your true identity so we have to accept it um, you can some of us don't even know it but you can know it but not accept it so we focus on Jesus we accept our true identity and who we are in Christ Jesus and then C is capture your thoughts we have to capture our thoughts and bring them captive and bring them under submission to our knowledge of God um, and so, you know, we have to have a knowledge of God, a true knowledge of God, of his true nature, that he is love, not that he feels love, but that he is love. God does nothing apart from love. Praise God. Um, now he issues judgment on sin. He issued, well, judgment on, um, on the devil. Um, but all the judgment for your sin was put on the body of Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. We focus on Jesus. Um, and then we accept our true identity. We capture our thoughts. And then E is expose our true selves to God. We expose um, and we just be honest with God. Some of us aren't honest with God. Um, some of us aren't even honest with ourselves, right? Of um, uh, especially in the faith camp, we're like, no, I'm in faith, I'm in faith. And then sometimes we just need to open up to God in our relationship with him. And we just got to expose our true selves and go, God, I'm struggling here. Please help me. Did you know that's a, a powerful prayer is just help me, God. 
that's exposing our true selves. So once we've focused on Jesus, we've accepted our true identity, we're capturing our thoughts, we're exposing ourselves to God and who we are, we're, we're laying on that altar um, and, and we're opening ourselves up and we're saying, God, whatever's in me that needs to be taken out, take it out. Whatever needs to be put in, put in. Um, I am exposing who I am to you and you are, are healing me. You are encouraging me. You are strengthening me. This is what we do when we look to God. We get our strength. This is where our help comes from. Now we turn towards the enemy, towards whatever we're facing off with. And remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. And, and so sometimes we may think it's a person that we're facing off with. No, it's not. It's always the enemy who is out to steal, kill, and destroy, according to John 10.10. 10. He is always out to kill, steal, and destroy. So sometimes it's just straight up the enemy. Sometimes the, and the enemy works through people works through circumstances and sometimes it's us sometimes we've just like straight up sabotaged ourselves <laughs> whatever you're facing off with that's when we turn towards it and o of f of face off is offend your enemy and i've been speaking about this for a few weeks and i want to move on to the two ending f's um and so i'm going to give you what the next um what the first F on off is, uh, which is fear not. And, and offending your enemy and fearing not are kind of tied together. And so that's what I want to expound on. You know, I was listening to last week's episode in preparation for what I would share with you today. And um, man, there's so much to entering into rest. And, um, you know, it's amazing. I I do worship at my church and it's, I love it how um, when, so the week before we do worship, um, the worship leader, he sends out the song list, right? And so um, most of the time during the week, I don't really have time to listen and focus on the songs until until Saturday morning. And um, so I was listening to it this morning and there's this song called No Longer Slaves. And, and the whole song is about being a child of God and you're no longer slave to fear because you are a child of God. You guys, we have a daddy that is like no other daddy on this planet. He is father. He is your father. He is your defender. He's your shield. He is your great reward. And, and there is no fear in perfect love. And so I'm going to kind of mix the um, offend your enemy. And, you know, last week I talked about offending your enemy. Um, one of the, the most powerful ways to offend your enemy is to enter into rest. And I, I wanted to uh, balance that message out because I've encountered people that think um, they're in rest in faith. I'm talking about a faith-filled rest. I'm talking about in your patience, possess ye your soul. That means um, patience, it's faith over a prolonged period of time. And I've encountered people, let me give you an example. Uh, there was this first year student, because I um, manage a first year program, distance learning program through Karis Bible College. And um, she calls me one day and she's like, she says, I'm, I'm in the hospital. This was in 2020 sometime, I believe. Um, anyways, she was in the hospital and she was diagnosed with COVID. And, um, and she basically wanted to call to see if she could get a refund on her Karis Bible College and that we would stop her partnership, uh, both with the ministry and with Truth and Liberty and stuff like that with the ministry. Um, because the doctors had basically said that there was nothing they could do for her and that they were going to put her into hospice and uh, make her comfortable and then they would take her off the respirators and that would be the end. And I'm like dumbfounded, right? Because number one, um, the content and the delivery method of the Word of God from Kara's Bible College is exactly what she needed to fight. And I was like, are you just wanting, are you just planning on dying? I asked her and she's like, no, no, not at all. And I was like, well, your actions show, <laughs> if you're asking me to refund you your Karis Bible College and to stop your, um, your partnerships, it seems to me like you're preparing 
for no longer being around. And she's like, no, no. She's like, I'm just at rest. Okay, so here's my, the reason I bring this example up is that she was deceived to think she was at rest. Um, I, I think she confused rest with peace that she had settled in her heart. She was just going to go home to be with Jesus. And listen, she did. Um, after that conversation, I had gotten her fired up and I was like, you, you can fight this. And I'm like, listen, I'm totally fine with giving you a refund on this content. I'm like, but let's, before we go there, why don't you try listening to some of it? Cause it might be exactly what you need in order to get healed. She's like, yeah, I'm just at rest. Okay. Yeah. I'll listen to some of it. And I knew when I hung up, she was not in the fight. And this is what I'm talking about, you guys. We gotta get in the fight because it's already ours. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. But entering into rest is not a peace that uh, God is in control. Yes, while he's already established it from the foundation of the earth, there is a part that you play and that is faith. Faith that he is my healer. And, and we got to battle those thoughts and we don't just give up and say, oh, we're at rest when you're just basically like making plans for your departure. <laughs> I pray this makes sense to you because I was so flabbergasted and so frustrated that she couldn't see it. And, and you know, when somebody drops the God card, it's hard to speak into that when they said, well, God just told me it's all okay. Well, yeah, it is all okay because you're going to pass away and you're going to go to heaven to be with Jesus, that's all okay. But have you fulfilled what God's plan is for your life here on earth? And, and my point is she lost the battle in her mind. She never got into the battle in the physical. And that's what this face off series is about is that you get into the battle in the physical. First, we, that's the face part. We grab hold of this mind. We win the battle in our mind and then we turn to the enemy and we offend it. Well, how? We verbally offend it. We verbally berate the enemy and whatever fa we're facing off with saying, Bill, you are paid in the name of Jesus. You are not going to take me out. Um, sickness, this is not God's will. So I curse you at, a, at your root. We offend the enemy with the words out of our mouth and then we enter into rest. That's the highest form of faith we can possibly be in. And last week I talked about how God, it, uh, the author of Hebrews was talking about entering into rest and how the Israelites didn't enter into rest because of unbelief, because they just didn't believe it. I want to challenge you to believe what you say you believe today. And how can you do that is through the word of God, through your personal relationship with God. And, and this is going to encourage you today to, to enter into true faith filled rest. You know, so I want to clarify. And like I say, when listening to last week's, I did balance it somewhat well about entering re into rest is not being lazy at all. Entering into rest, the only way you can enter into rest is spending time with God. It's not spending time watching junk on TV. It's not spending time watching the news. It's not spending time researching whatever your illness is. That is not entering you into rest. What's entering you into rest is praying in the spirit, building yourself up on your most holy faith, it tells us. That's what praying in the spirit does. Reading the word of God. Well, where do I read? doesn't matter just start reading because the word of God is a seed that you're planting in your heart so I would just gorge myself on the word of God and that is how God is going to speak to you and encourage your heart and enter you into a area of rest it's like you enter into another level of faith when you enter into rest and so this is going to encourage you today so last week um, I was invited to minister at a home church and it was amazing. And so the whole um, lead up to it, I'm like, God, what do I share? I don't know what to share. I don't want to just share stuff that I'm sharing on YouTube because some of the people in the church watch my YouTube channel. So I'm like, okay, God, I, what do I share? And all I heard was word, word. Okay. So um, 
and this is what I shared with them last week. And, and I'm going to put, for those of you that are in the home church and if you're watching, um, I'm going to put a different spin on it. But I'm going to go back to this because we can't hear this too much. And this is going to help you enter into rest, and which will offend your enemy, which will cast out fear. There is no reason to fear. And that's why I brought up the whole worship song. Because one of the songs I'm singing this week uh, is... I'm no longer a slave to fear. Fear not is the second is the first F in off. And it all goes together with offend the enemy. So anyways, let's go to Psalms 119, verse 89. And it says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Forever. Oh Lord. See, this is how we meditate on the word. This is how it ministers to us and it encourages us while we are in these battles. You guys, if you haven't realized it or not, this world is no joke. And if you haven't had some circumstances, some storms in your life, then just live a little bit longer. And and I don't think this world is going to get any more peaceful. <laughs> I'm not being a Debbie Downer, but I'm just saying we have... The answer, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. You know, when Jesus came to earth and he uh, was teaching the disciples how to pray, he, he said, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This is not, we don't pray this um, exactly verbatim, but he was giving us a concept of how we pray. So let me just break this down a little bit. Um, and trust me, I'll bring it all back together. I feel like y you may be thinking there's a whole lot of uh, loose ends here that I'm going down this trail and this trail, but it's all going to come together. So Jesus said to his disciples, he said, um, this is how you pray. So our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. It's like you're glorifying God. Do you see what I'm saying? When we face off with this stuff, uh, that whole part where we're looking to Jesus and we're we're looking to God for where our health and our strength and our wisdom comes from which he's already placed on the inside of us but I I, I physically look up because God God even though he dwells in our in our spirit he's already in us you could that's why we bow our head when we praise because we are filled with the Holy Spirit and with God but for me mentally it helps me to look up and be like God and so Jesus was saying, hallowed be thy name. Like you are hallowed. Um, that's reverence. That's, that's reverential fear. That is awestruck wonder of your name, of your power. You've created the heavens and the earth. You knew me from my mother's womb. You called me from my mother's womb. Hallowed be thy name. Our father, he's your father there's so much in it and so let me try to keep going so that I can get to my point <laughs> our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done thy will be done and what's God's will his word thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven do you see this in Psalms 119 verse 89 it says forever O Lord your word is settled in heaven and Jesus was like, we pray when we pray, we pray that his, his will, his kingdom that's in heaven, because remember his word is settled in heaven forever. We bring that onto, into earth and we can only do that. And so his word is settled in heaven. Have you received a word from God, from his written word from the Bible? Did you know forever it's settled in heaven? It doesn't matter what your circumstances look like. It doesn't matter um, what it looks like in the physical right now. It doesn't matter because it's settled forever in heaven. Do you see when we can really truly believe that? When we can really truly believe that by his stripes I was healed 2,000 years ago. That is a word from God for you today. And forever it's settled in heaven. So it doesn't matter if your body has symptoms of sickness. You can remind it and you can offend it by saying, you know what? This is done because my body is healed. My body was healed 2,000 years ago. So circumstances, whatever you're facing off with today, you can speak to it and say forever God's word is settled in heaven. And God's word says 
that by Jesus' stripes, I was healed. So that's the truth of the matter. And that is what is settled in heaven that you are given the authority to bring to earth. This is how we offend the enemy. Do you know the devil hates this? The devil hates the fact that you are victorious because of Jesus in you. And so what does the devil do? He wants to bring all your accidents, all your shortcomings. He wants to get up here in between your ears. And he is only winning up there through your consent and your cooperation. So instead of consenting and cooperating with the devil who is who is trying to plant these lies in between your two ears, that's the only place he has authority. And he doesn't even have authority if you don't allow it. So he's trying to plant these lies of deception and deceit and you're defeated and, and you know you shouldn't have done that and you shouldn't have done this. And um, it, it's all up here. So don't consent and cooperate with it. And that's what this whole face-off thing is about. So how, what do we consent and cooperate with? We consent and we cooperate with thy word. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. That's how you offend the enemy. So when the enemy comes at you and says, oh, well, you know, you did this to deserve this, whatever it could be. And you're like, yeah, you're right. I did do that. But thy word that's settled forever in heaven says that Jesus paid for my sin 2000 years ago. So any consequence for my sin has been put on the body of Jesus. Any judgment, any consequence has been put on the body of Jesus 2000 years ago. So that's how you enter into rest. That's how we enter into rest is through believing it and through coming back with the word of God because the word is settled forever in heaven. And like Jesus said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What's going on in heaven? Well, I'll tell you one thing that's going on in heaven. God's word is forever settled up there. So is it forever settled in your heart? Because if it is, then you are bringing God's will, the kingdom of heaven onto earth. When you stand on it, you believe on it, you don't lose heart. In your patience, you possess your soul. This is the rest that I'm talking about. This is the offense that happens to the enemy when you're like, oh, wait, nope, <laughs> nope, that is a lie. And so I'm going to combat it with truth. And, and please hear my heart. If you aren't planting truth, if you aren't planting the word of God in your heart, it's really hard to battle. But listen, even if you haven't spent a whole lot of time putting the word of God in your heart, whatever you have planted, you can stand with. You can stand on these things. But if you are in a hardcore battle, it, it, sometimes it seems like it's a little too late to get into the battle, but it's never too late. It's never too late. You know, if you were in a, a physical war and maybe it seems like you're getting your butt kicked, you know what? Take some time and learn some, you know, karate moves. Because guess what? If you are in a hand-to-hand -hand battle, any moves that you learn are going to be helpful in that battle. And that's what I'm saying right now. If maybe you haven't spent a whole lot of time in the Word, and that's okay. But you can start now. Only you can do this. God's already won the battle through Jesus. Jesus has already paid for all of it from your mother's womb. God chose you. God prepared and gave you a way out of whatever you are in today. He's provided. That's his grace. He's provided for everything you need for whatever you're going through today. And it's already settled in heaven. But you don't understand it and you don't believe it. And, and through your unbelief, you're not entering into rest. Do you see? Do you like how I bring all those, all those loose ends back together? <laughs> and when we enter into rest, that's when we are truly offending the enemy. You know, um, I, I, I'm a joker. Um, I, I joke around with people at work all the time. And, and so um, I love it because uh, as you form relationships with people, they can understand your humor more. And um, the other day, somebody was, uh, it was this guy, I can't remember uh, which employee it was. It was a coworker of mine. And, and um, he said something in saucy, you know, like um, 
saying, oh, you blah, blah, blah. I can't even remember what, what it was, but what I did was, is I pretended like I didn't hear him. And then I asked somebody else in our space. I said, did you hear something? Do you see? Because it was like, and everybody laughed because I didn't even acknowledge what he said. But in asking somebody, did you hear something? I thought I, yeah, I didn't hear anything either. This is, that would be offensive, right? That would be literally offensive if this person was trying to hurt me. Um, but he wasn't, it was joking. And in this joking context, that's how I responded. And it was funny and everybody laughed. But in this moment, you guys, when the enemy wants to come up here and whisper these lies, something contrary to the word of God that's forever settled in heaven, when the enemy wants to do that, you don't even have to acknowledge it. That is the highest form of faith, and it's called rest. To go, <laughs> okay, body, yeah, your symptoms are screaming at me, but I'm not even listening to it. This is something we do in our mind because forever his word is settled in heaven, and his word says that my, by Jesus' stripes, I was healed 2,000 years ago on the cross. Jesus took this sickness, he became sickness, he became sin. Maybe it's thoughts of guilt and condemnation that you're battling. And, and when the enemy wants to bring those up to you, you go, wait a second, that was paid for 2,000 years ago and forever that word is settled in heaven. So I'm going to just appropriate here on earth what's already settled in heaven, which is forgiveness. <laughs> and I'm going to remind myself that, yeah, I am holy. I am blameless in the eyes of the Lord. Not because of me. No, I don't deserve it. No, but because of Jesus. That's why. And that's what the word says. And forever, the word is settled in heaven. Do you see how we can just get in this cycle of offending the enemy because we are entering into rest? This is how, in your patience, you are possessing your soul. Because this is the only place where the enemy can come and attack you, is right here between your ears, and you either allow it or disallow it. And you're like, you're probably looking at me going, that is impossible. If you only knew what I was going through, listen, your circumstance is not unique. Thousands of other people have gone through what, you're, what you are going through. You know, and that's another lie that comes up here. Oh, nobody knows. Oh, nobody knows. You know, we look at Elijah in the Old Testament who was a supernatural prophet of God in the Old Covenant. He didn't even have the Holy Spirit on the inside of him, but he operated in supernatural signs and wonders. And then he gets one word that he allows up here and he goes running, running from the battle like this. He was an amazing prophet of God and, and I'm running out of time, so I can't expound on it. But in that, he goes and hides in a cave and God comes to him and God's like, Elijah, what are you doing here? <laughs> and this is what Elijah comes back with. He's like, I have been zealous for the Lord and I and only I am, am following you. And it was a lie. He knew it was a lie. But see, we can get stuck in this idea of like, oh, only I have gotten through this before. No. You are not special because of what you're going through. It's all the same evil behind it. It's all the same tactics. Listen, the devil is not creative in his way of attacking. There is not a creative bone in the enemy's body. So whatever you feel under attack with, whatever you are facing off with, trust me. There's thousands of others that have gone through this exact same thing and they've either won or lost because of right up here. They've either won or lost and the ones that have won have determined that forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. This is settled in heaven and so it's settled here on earth because I am a believer. I've been given authority here on earth. I've been given authority to bring down from heaven into earth your will. This is huge. And I pray that this blessed you. So this was kind of a mixture of offend your enemy and fear not. Fear not is a whole nother, it'll probably be another month before I get out of that first F before we get to the final F. But that's okay, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm blessing myself in this. Even if none, none of you watching are blessed, I'm blessed. <laughs> Praise God. So I'm going to hit go ahead and end it right here once again. Man, I don't know where the, the time flies by, but... I'm so glad that you watched today. And if this blessed you, 
I would encourage you to watch it again. I would encourage you to share it with other people um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you hit subscribe and the little bell, you will get a notification every time I post a new video. Otherwise, you can plan on a new video every Sunday morning here on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm also on Facebook at Arrested and Free. Uh, you can like me there, send me a message, or uh, give me a phone call, send me a text message at 970-919-0459. You guys are blessed, and I want to encourage you today to find, to enter into that rest and um, offend your enemy. Because look, he's a loser. You have already been given this promised land. Now you just walk into it, and you don't limit your faith by unbelief. So have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye.